What's up guys, Rogue9 here and welcome to my series on Rainbow Six Siege. In this episode, I'll be giving you an overview of the counter-terrorism special forces represented in the game. As you will by now know, there are five different countries represented in the game, so let's kick things off straight away with the originals, possibly the earliest special forces unit in the world and one on which most other countries have modelled their units. It is of course, the SAS. The game tells us, Founded in 1941, the Special Air Service SAS, was a unit of the British Army during World War II. The SAS moved from obscurity in 1980 when they successfully rescued hostages from the Iranian embassy siege. Their focus is on counter-terrorism, hostage rescues and covert operations. This description is relatively accurate. The SAS, whose motto is, Who Dares Wins, was formed in July 1941 as a British Army commando unit to operate in North Africa. Their speciality here was long-range desert raids using small groups of commando troops, with the aim of destroying enemy aircraft on the ground and disrupting supply routes. Throughout World War II, the SAS also operated in Sicily, Italy, the Aegean Islands, the Dodecanese, France, Belgium, Netherlands and Germany. After the war in 1945, the SAS was initially disbanded, but it was quickly reinstated in 1947 to provide the British Army with a long-term specialised commando unit. It was from this point onward all the way until the 1970s that the SAS acted exclusively as a military commando unit. It was not until the 1972 Olympic Games massacre in Munich that the need for a counter-terrorism unit was realised and that's when the SAS formed its counter-revolutionary warfare wing. So this is maybe the one point where the game's description of the unit is slightly inaccurate. Covert military operations are the SAS's bread and butter, while counter-terrorism and hostage rescue is something that was added much later. The SAS is split into three units, the 22nd SAS Regiment, which is made up of regular soldiers, and the 21st and 23rd SAS Regiments, which are reserves. Each regiment is made up of three to four squadrons, each of which comprises four troops, boat troop, air troop, mobility troop and mountain troop. Notable counter-terrorism missions of the SAS include Operation Feuerzauber in 1977, when two SAS operators acted as advisors and observers of the GSG-9 mission to rescue a Lufthansa airliner jet from its hostage takers. The mission that brought the SAS to the forefront of everyone's mind, not just nationally but internationally, was of course the breaking of the Iranian embassy siege in London in 1980, named Operation Nimrod. And finally, maybe in the year 2000, the SAS teamed up with British paratroopers to rescue British troops that had been taken hostage in Sierra Leone. This operation was named Operation Barras. Moving on to the FBI SWAT, let's see what the game has to say. Created in 1983, the FBI Enhanced Special Weapons and Tactics SWAT teams are trained to intervene in high-risk situations. Their expertise varies from hostage rescues, aircraft hijackings, tracking fugitives, stronghold and tubular assaults, to specialised sniper operations. Now, I have a bit of a problem with this description since the earliest SWAT teams were created in 1964 and 65 with their initial purpose being to tackle bank robberies, urban unrest and rioting. The date of 1983 that the game refers to is in fact when the FBI Hostage Rescue Team or HRT was formed. As the name suggests, this unit is part of the FBI and acts across the entire United States, its primary roles being hostage rescue and counter-terrorism. The reason for its creation and inception was to protect the 1984 Summer Olympics held in the United States, specifically to avoid a situation like that of 1972. Today, the unit is made up of around 300 operators, each specializing in various capabilities such as advanced ground tactics, advanced maritime operations and advanced tactical aviation operations. Some of the unit's notable operations include deployments at the Waco Siege in 1993 and the Ruby Ridge Siege and Confrontation in 1992, both of these being domestic operations that involved armed groups but no hostages. And despite being a domestic police force, the HRT has also been deployed to conduct combat operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. The National Gendarmerie Intervention Group GIGN, created in 1973, specializes in counter-terrorist and rescue missions. 
Having taken part in over 1000 operations since the GIGN was founded, the unit has only seen 9 fatalities. Well that's a fairly bland and uninformative description and there's not much that can go wrong. The organisation was in fact formed in 1973, again with the 1972 Olympic attack in mind, and its specialities are counter-terrorist and hostage rescue missions. The acronym GIGN stands for Groupe d'Intervention de la Gendarmerie Nationale, and their motto is Sauver des vies au mépris de la sienne, to save lives without regard to one's own. Since a significant reorganisation in 2007, the organisation now consists of three different parts, an intervention force, an observation and search force, and a security and protection force. Within the group, operators are focused on one of two tactical specialities, airborne insertion, which includes high altitude low opening and high altitude high opening, and divers. Furthermore, each operator can also acquire several technical specialities, such as police dogs, breaching, long-range sniping and negotiations. Some of the high-profile operations of the GIGN include regaining control of the Grand Mosque in Mecca, Saudi Arabia in 1979, the liberation of 229 passengers and crew from an Air France flight in Marseille in 1994, and the involvement in operations against armed attackers in Paris in January 2015. Created in 1974, Spetsnaz are members of Russian units dedicated to counter-terrorism, paramilitary and covert operations. They're tasked with protecting Russia's strategic installations, both domestic and international, though little is known about the exact nature of their mission. I find this description again slightly inaccurate and confusing since it mixes together the different groups of the Spetsnaz forces in Russia. Spetsgruppe Alpha, whose patch is used in the game, is in fact a counter-terrorist unit created in 1974. But just like the SAS, they are also used as a military commander unit and they were involved in the first Afghanistan war. And this was between 1979 and 1989. The mention of protecting strategic installations from the game's description actually refers to Spetsgruppe B, also known as Vimpel. This unit was formed in 1981 and has more of a defensive role rather than their offensive counterparts of Alpha Group. Further Spetsnaz groups include Spetsgruppe C, or Smirch, formed in 1999, and regional FSB units, the FSB being the Russian Federal Security Service. As with the SAS, the Spetsnaz have been predominantly involved in military operations, but among those have also been some of the most challenging and large-scale hostage situations ever. Among these are the Budyonov Hospital hostage crisis of 1995, during which up to 200 armed separatists took between 1,500 and 1,800 hostages. The siege involved three separate assaults by special forces and resulted in about 166 hostages killed and 541 injured. In 2002, between 40 and 50 armed separatists took over the Moscow theater and held up to 850 hostages. The siege lasted several days and was finally broken when special forces pumped an undisclosed chemical agent into the building, followed by a raid that killed all of the attackers and also about 130 of the hostages. Almost all of the hostages were killed by the toxic substance used to subdue the militants, even though this was not supposed to be lethal. In 2004, another group of armed separatists took over a school in Beslan, taking over 1,100 hostages. The assault at the end of the siege resulted in at least 334 hostages killed, with between 10 and 20 special forces operatives killed as well. And as always last, but never least, we have the GSG 9. After the 1972 Munich massacre, GSG 9 was formed to combat the growing threat of terrorism. Due to a problematic military history, GSG 9 grew from the German Federal Border Guard Service slash police. GSG 9 specializes in mitigating crisis situations such as hostage taking, kidnapping, terrorism and extortion. This description is both quite detailed and accurate. After finding themselves both outmanned and outgunned at the 1972 Munich massacre, Germany needed to raise a force that was capable of targeting such threats in future. And since the German military was forbidden from operating within Germany due to post-Second World War constitutional restrictions, this force was raised from the Federal Police instead. At the time, the German Border Police had eight different units, and so this group was simply called Grenzschutzgruppe 9, so the Border Protection Group number 9. 
Today, the group is comprised of around 250 operatives and is subdivided into three groups. First, you have the regular operations group, which is used for land-based counter-terrorism actions. Second, you have the maritime operations group, which is used for operations at sea. And third, the airborne operations group. Within these groups, you have specialists such as sharpshooters, divers, aircraft boarding specialists, bomb experts, and surveillance and IT technicians. Notable operations include Operation Feuerzauber, which we already mentioned. This was the 1997 freeing of hostages on a Lufthansa flight that was being stopped in Mogadishu. Actions against the German terrorist group RAF, Red Army Faction, in 1982 and 1993 and the ending of the hostage situation in the central bank in Aachen in 1999. Interestingly, while I was doing the research for this video, I came across something called the Atlas Network. This is in fact a real-world organization consisting of several special police units of the 28 states of the European Union. This network was formed in 1996 with the motto, All Together to Protect You. It's interesting that there should be an actual organization that combines all the special police units of the European Union. I would have almost guessed that someone in the European Union was reading Tom Clancy. But as it happens, this group was formed two years before the book was released. Watching this video on your PC, tablet or phone? Hit the like button now to increase your device's feng shui. Well, that's all for today guys, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode.